Hey, it's Derek, and this is Recharge in five minutes or less. Let's go. What is it? Recharge is a subscription billing platform for Shopify and Shopify Plus stores. They're actually the only Shopify Plus partner for subscriptions specifically. They solve problems related to complex subscription and billing needs with a lot of automation and customization available. The core of the product is their rule sets, which are what you set up for specific subscription billing cycles and functionalities. They have a user portal that makes it easier for the user to manage their subscription, do things like skip a month, cancel, and they have unsubscribe sequences, or upgrade. The platform has a basic setup, but also allows for customization for design and development teams on top of that. In order for Recharge to work, you must go through Recharge Checkout instead of Shopify Checkout. And yes, you can purchase individual products and subscriptions all at the same time in the checkout process. Competitive landscape. The biggest alternative tool in the space is Bold Subscriptions, which is relatively robust and flexible as well, and great for those using Bold's other tools. Other competitors include Payworld and ChargeRabbit. Biggest differentiator. They are likely the most flexible and robust platform on the Shopify and Shopify Plus market right now for subscriptions, and they have the most integrations of any Shopify subscription management tool out there. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility, meaning there are costs associated with taking advantage of their advanced functionality, specifically in design and development. But don't worry, they have a strong partner network of trained agencies that you can plug into to accomplish this. They also have a gifting functionality, which is pretty cool, so you can send a gift subscription, but also follow up with the giftee to get them actually subscribed afterwards. They help prevent churn with emails that notify the customer if their card is about to expire, if a product is out of stock or has been declined, and you can set up custom frequencies to retry cards and prevent involuntary churn. Metric impact. Subscriptions are all about increasing lifetime value. You also want to keep a close eye on your churn rate and keep customers happy. If you have an in-app subscription tool, you will get a plethora of customer service inquiries and complaints, specifically around canceling and refunds. If you use a tool like Recharge and have it set up appropriately, you will mitigate a lot of these tickets and save big in customer service costs while increasing customer satisfaction. Bottom line, adding subscriptions to any store where you already see repeat purchases could greatly increase lifetime value and grow your business. One important thing to note, however, is that subscriptions don't magically make your business work. You will have churn. Bad subscription companies have as low as a 35% retention rate, means 65% of people are canceling before the repeat purchase. Great subscription companies have as high as a 97% retention rate, which is clearly a viable business model, and your numbers will likely be closer to maybe the 50% mark when you get started, unless you've got some sort of really unique angle that keeps your users subscribed. Something like discount discovery or renewal. When should you use it? If you sell replenishable goods that people need monthly, quarterly, or annually, you should consider subscription products to increase lifetime value. If you sell discoverable products and want to create a subscription out of that, you could create a subscription box or something like that and sell it alongside your products in your store to increase lifetime value, virality, and retention rates. This is great for industries uh, where, like beauty, food, health, skincare, and some jewelry brands even use this. Bad fits are typically apparel and home goods, even though you can probably find a creative way to make a subscription work in that space. When shouldn't you use it? Very pass-through companies with no brand and no point in repeat purchasing won't benefit from a subscription tool. Not everyone can sell a subscription. As an example, I run a company that sells privacy window film to homeowners. In this niche, there's no point in setting up a subscription for me. It doesn't add any value to the customer and they're not repeat purchasing very often. Integrations. Their list of integrations is massive and really to the point of what you need. It's important your subscription tech integrates with your email provider or CRM so that you can send out emails around the subscription. They integrate with Klaviyo and MailChimp. Perfect. They integrate with Gorgeous and Reamaze so that your customer service team can easily edit or refund subscriptions and keep your customer, uh, your customer service costs down. They integrate with many major loyalty programs like Loyalty Lion, Smile, and Swell so that you can earn loyalty points with your subscriptions as well as portray them on that customer portal page. They integrate with Stripe and Braintree to receive new card data for expiring cards without the user having to change their information. Huge for reducing involuntary churn. 
and they integrate with Churn Buster for other churn reducing tactics like dunning and reactivation. They integrate with Avalara, Avalara, however you say it, for proper tax compliance and management based on region and country, perfect for those selling outside the US. They integrate with Glue for in-depth analytics. They integrate with Little Data, which is a tool that you can just plug in right with their system to make sure that you don't lose tracking or attribution when you implement a subscription tool. They integrate with No Fraud for fraud protection. They integrate with Octane AI for integrating subscriptions with messenger marketing for, in, for combining your marketing campaigns, increasing retention and engagement. I mean, that's pretty cool. They have referral candy and reversion integration so that you're, you can track affiliate partners appropriately and pay them out during the subscription. Right now, they sync directly with Shopify inventory management, but they also have a Trade Gecko integration for those that are using Trade Gecko for inventory management. And the list actually continues to go on from there, but I've decided to cut it. Pricing. Pricing starts at $40 a month with a 1% transaction fee and five cents per transaction. That's up to 100,000 in monthly recurring revenue, and there are still other transaction fees on top for a payment processor like Stripe or Braintree that you would be integrating with. Those are typically 2.9% plus 30 cent transaction fee. So most of the time there is an increase in cost when you go with subscription billing, but you can at economies of scale possibly find reduction in those costs. If you're over 100K in monthly sales, talk with their team to find out what kind of discounts you can get on those transaction rates. Setup time and resources. This tool requires a reasonable amount of setup since you're going to be changing your entire checkout process to go through recharge. You'll need to set up each subscription plan, make sure that those plans are properly displayed on your product detail pages. You'll need to set up your customer portal. You will need to train your customer service team on how to handle inquiries around subscriptions. You will need to explain to your operations and logistics team how subscriptions will be sent out and handled. You may need to set up additional products and SKUs. You may need to hire an agency or developer to get all this done, but Recharge will help you with that process. After setup, maintenance is actually pretty low. You won't need to do too much work except for adding or changing subscriptions as needed and handling customer service. You'll wanna check in on how your subscriptions are going for monthly reports as well. Final thoughts. Subscription products are all the rage these days, but typically have a hard time really finding product market fit. If you're building a subscription business or mostly subscription business, Recharge is a very strong and reliable partner for handling anything you may need to get the job done. If you're thinking about adjusting an existing business model to include subscriptions, my recommendation is yes, try it, but it will need a lot of maintenance and tweaking and it could ultimately fail. Stick with the goal of increasing value to the customer and the revenue will follow. Try to force it or trick the customer into subscriptions and you're gonna have a bad day. That was Recharge in five minutes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If this app interests you, please do click on my partner link or book a forever free consultation with me, Derek Haney. I would ha be happy to talk to you about how Recharge integrates with the rest of your tool stack. That's it for me. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.